When you work with data that is an export from another system, you don't always have control over the format of the data that you receive. And sometimes that can present quite a few challenges. In the retail file that you see on the screen, we notice that we actually have quite a few rows above our data. Our sales data is actually contained down here. And as an example, we're gonna say that we're interested in the total revenue generated and the units sold. We see that we've got a total line and we've got two lines of text down the bottom of our file. Now for a retail report, this could be any number of rows, so these aren't always on rows 17 and 18. We also notice that every time we get this file, the name of one of our products is misspelled. So we're gonna see how to quickly correct that as well. Now we can manually make these changes, but since this file comes every week, we can use Power Query to make a very quick work of modifying this file. Let's take a look at how this is done. I'll do this demonstration in Power BI. The first thing we have to do is tell the tool where is our data. We select our file and open it. If we click here, we can actually get a preview of the information that we have. So you can see our file is not exactly in a format convenient for analysis. Now, if I load this file, it's gonna come in exactly as is. I actually want to do some transformation steps before we load it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to remove the top seven rows. It's very simple. All we have to do is click here, say remove top rows, type in the number seven and hit okay. And you can see in Power Query, it's added the step over here of removing those rows. So now our file is getting a little bit cleaner. We can see that what we want for a header is actually on row one. We need to move that up to say, use that as the column headers. So if we just click here, it promotes that first row to the headers. The next thing we want to do is we want to remove the bottom three rows. So again, we can remove rows, this time from the bottom. And the bottom three rows are gone. Now let's pick the columns that we want to keep because we don't need all of this information. If we pick choose columns, I would like to keep the plan number, which is my item number, the item description, our revenue dollars, and the number of units sold. Now we have just the columns that we need for our analysis. Now I'm going to quickly rename these to make it a little more convenient. So this was our product number. This is our product name. Now we still have one more challenge because now we've still got these two rows at the top that we need to get rid of. So again, we can remove these rows. Now we have one more thing to fix. Every week when we receive this file, we notice that the product name here is misspelled. We wanna be able to automatically correct it so we don't have to do it manually each time. So we highlight the column for product name, click on transform, and right here is the option to replace values. So we tell it, to find this spelling and replace it with the correct spelling. And since all of my stuff is uppercase in the other products, I'll do uppercase as well here. Now our data is exactly how we would like it for future analysis. So to exit Power Query, just hit close and apply. And now we have our data exactly how we would like it in order to do an analysis. And every week when we receive a new file, we can get Power Query to run through those automation steps that we've already programmed, and it will clean up our data file automatically for us.